For a trained self-defender, there are usually plenty of opportunities for a counter ambush. Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. This video I think is from the Caribbean somewhere, but I'm not positive, I can't find a news story. So if you have one, put it in a comment so I can put it in the description. Now more than ever, you need trusted coverage to help you win the fight after the fight. The company I trust and recommend is Firearms Legal Protection. They offer discounts on all their plans at the link in the description. I recommend the premium plan. Just a normal day at the barber shop for these fine folks and then you're gonna see this guy come in here and just look around. Now this guy that's just walked through the doorway is our armed robber and you see everybody kind of just chilling and when he decides, okay, well, let's see what's going on here. He's gonna draw a gun, chamber that gun and start pulling jewelry off people. Notice the guy in the chair that's getting his hair done. He's gonna put his hands up. Uh, and this guy doesn't care, ladies, gentlemen, he wants everybody's jewelry. So he's gonna grab her uh, necklaces and start stuffing them in his pocket. I think he, w whether that dropped something off or he grabbed her anklet or something, and now he's gonna grab the rings off of this guy that's right next to him. Use his gun hand to grab some stuff as well. Now when he tries to open the door, there's like a little lock up top. Uh, he's gonna put the gun in his left hand to do it and then come back and, and grab some more stuff and run off and that's where this one ends. All right, question time on this one. What would you have done? Would you have grabbed a hold of that gun and gone for it? Or just what this guy did? Take off the rings, give him the stuff and just wait. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? How would you have handled it? In the end of things, okay, fine. Everybody came out of this without getting hurt, though they did lose a bunch of stuff. So let's think about how we might better defend ourselves than just give up our stuff and those kinds of things. First thing I wanna notice is that our arm robber walks in, he gets to set the time and the place of the attack. So he is the one who gets to set when everything goes down. Now, had some of these folks been self-defenders, maybe the guy on the right had an immediate counter ambush, and perhaps the guy in the white t-shirt who's sitting next to him, if he goes, oh man, this is a problem, I'm gonna go right now for the guy's gun, okay, fine. But for most everybody else, and in most situations in armed robberies, your better bet is purposeful compliance and waiting your turn. Again, wait your turn and then take your turn. When you find your opportunity, then use it. So our bad guy then chambers around. I see bad guys do this all the time. It is a marker to everyone that says, okay, the gun is real, it's loaded, and I am willing to use it. Anybody who threatens you with a firearm, I would assume that it's loaded and assume they're willing to use it. Uh, but that's again a way that he says that. Now let's look and see, he's gonna start grabbing stuff. And let's think about our opportunities because they're already here. If our guy in the white shirt who's behind the perp here decides right now our bad guy does not have any attention on him and he's got that gun just kind of sticking out, floating out in front of him. So if our, our guy here, our victim, is a defender and just reaches out, grabs a hold of that gun and then short arms it and fights him for that gun, you at very least have the ability to, to keep him from being able to use it and then hopefully other people pile on and you're able to get this guy down but plenty of other opportunities here if you wanted to use them. Somebody else who he's not paying attention to could. You know, the guy that's got his hands up in the background here, he hasn't been paid attention to at all. If he had a firearm, he could have just absolutely filled this guy in. But look at our defender, our victim in the white shirt who's giving up all his stuff. Again, that gun is just sitting right out in front of him to grab a hold of with both hands and then get into a significant empty-handed fight with this guy if you practice the five Ds plus one. But you better do that stuff before this shows up. Uh, you know, rather than just try it for the first time. I do want you to notice as well that again, he has now uh, got that gun sitting kind of mid chest and, and pointed, you know, in a direction where he's practically handing it to our victim if he wanted to reach out and grab it. I'm not saying that, that he had to do that. Obviously he didn't have to. So a couple of things here, notice how nonchalantly he uses the gun, actually reaches out right here and starts taking stuff with the gun hand. There's literally nothing to prevent this woman who's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna give you my stuff with this hand from then grabbing a hold of that gun with the hand that she just got rid of the stuff, the jewelry that's in her hand as well. He literally says, here, let me put my gun in your hand. Now again, as non-defenders here, they just complied and hope for the best and thankfully the best is what happened. But you don't have to do that if you have a significant skill set. I also note here, he actually put the gun in his left hand. This gun at this point is completely non-deliverable and anybody in that place that's within arm's reach can just reach out and grab a hold of it and he's not even holding on to the stupid thing at that point. 
And so again, plenty of opportunities in this particular case to grab that gun and stop this faster and not let him get away with it. Now, again, at the end of things, nobody was harmed in this one, but of course it's a moral evil for him to steal from people. So I do think if you have the mindset that we learn here on this channel and then the skill set that we learn on active self-protection extra in order to stop these guys, you give yourself opportunities for purposeful compliance and then wait your turn and take your turn to cover your ASP.